It is understood Prince Harry has put the finishing touches to his book and has previously said he is keen to tell the first, accurate and wholly truthful, account of his own life. But the prince could face a huge problem as a series of books will reportedly be out at around the same time and could tell different versions of the latter stages of his life in the royal family and the circumstances around Megxit. Celia Walden, a British journalist, novelist, and critic, believes by the time his own book is released later this year, Harry fatigue will set in well before then. She highlighted how the memoir still doesn't feature on the website of online retail giant Amazon, yet every other royal book does. Ms. Walden said this is a strategy as part of a pre-publication campaign, and believes Penguin is aiming for a shock drop game plan, that will involve a tantalizing radio silence followed by a bombardment of Hazza revelations to tease people into buying it. But the expert warned a double whammy could be just around the corner and said, there's a problem with this strategy. The tone has been set by Tom Bauer, the author of last month's headline grabbing revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, and in a fortnight's time best-selling writer Catherine Mayer will publish an updated version of her Prince Charles biography, Charles, The Heart of a King promising readers previously unpublished details around Harry and Meghan's exit. In September, another esteemed journalist will provide new insight into the Duke's last period of royal life. Valentine Lowe broke the story about the Duchess of Sussex being accused of bullying staff while at Kensington Palace in 2018. Meghan's team have always vigorously denied the accusations, and his sources in courtiers, the hidden power behind the crown are likely to be impeccable. In November, comes a double whammy from two well-known royal experts. Katie Nicholl will publish a forensic examination of the firm in the New Royals, while Angela Levin will publish a biography of the Duchess of Cornwall. Again, both are expected to include versions of Megxit and Given Levin's criticism of the Sussexes and rumours that Harry's autobiography will contain criticism of his stepmother, hers is unlikely to be favourable in their regard. She added in the Daily Telegraph, It's enough to make me feel a stab of pity for the prince. Imagine having your truth drowned out by a load of other people, all telling different versions of that truth, all collectively prompting Harry fatigue.